Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the water filter on this Cuisinart 14 cup perfect temperature coffee maker. Model number DCC-3200. This is one of their more popular coffee makers. So does your coffee taste bad? Does your water smell like chlorine? chlorine? Those could be good signs that it's time to change the water filter or add this carbon water filter. So your coffee maker should have come with this big tall handle and it, it goes in the back. So we lift up the brew head. You may or may not have it, but right there is where it goes. So when it's installed, all you see is, is that. So you put the water back here and then that, that sits down in there. Make sure that sits all the way in there. So you pull that out and that's what holds the carbon water filter. So here's what the carbon water filter looks like. You should change these every two months. And there's a little bit of setup to, to before you put this in the coffee maker, we've got to rinse it and soak it. So get you a cup of water and you're just going to place the, the new uh, filter, put it in the cup of water. Let it soak for 15 minutes. Your water is going to turn like a gray. That means the carbon dust is coming off of that carbon filter on the inside. That's a good thing. Okay, so after it is soaked, then you want to rinse it for 30 seconds underneath the sink. That just gives it one final rinse to get all that carbon dust out of there. Now we're ready to install it in this tall handle. This is made by Cuisinart. I'll put a link to all of this in my show description notes. You're going to put the filter in here. The, the curved side should go down and the flat side should go up and then just snaps closed. It only opens from one side. The other side doesn't have anything. It should say open. Now you're ready to install it. Again, you can't just set it back here. Your lid may not close, but it'll float also. If you don't snug it down, it should stay down. And then if you give it a little bit of a tug, it doesn't want to come out. You really have to kind of pull it out. That's how you know it's installed correctly. And again, after two months, you should change it. Thanks everybody for watching.